Hello my friends and welcome to episode 4 of Total War Saga, Thone, Thrones of Britannia with Kirk Ren. Last episode we lost more battles but we did get Aberdon back, they have sacked it though and to repair it costs an absolute fortune, in fact we can't even afford to repair it because it costs too much, we can maybe get this repaired next turn and hopefully this and the one after it. Um, buildings causing unhappiness here, occupation causing unhappiness and it will be the same down here I imagine although they are actually fairly happy just now but we have lost two provinces here we have in, uh, encircled Edinburgh oh, or Edinburgh as it is called on Total War Saga Thrones of Britannia obviously due to the uh, timeline um, so hopefully I'm kind of hoping that we can get that we do have this one I have converted this uh, province to hopefully be ours Edinburgh, we've got Northload and Northload Minor Settlements in here as well, so I think it's going to be Dunbar and Coringham and then uh, uh, Bevenburgh will be uh, Ma, uh, Melros, uh, Regista and uh, Gindrum. I'm trying to pronounce all these names correctly. But I'm kind of hoping it hits somewhere it hurts. We do have a army building down here as well, which will hopefully stand us in good stead for weakening them and hopefully weakening these two armies here and here, uh, the eight stack and the six stack, which we are now bigger than with this 12 stack. We do have a backup army here as well. So we're going to start where we started off every episode, apart from the first one, by skipping a turn. And moving on, hopefully that helps us. Um, and moves us forward just a little bit more. Uh, we have got siege weapons building, so we can take Edinburgh next turn. Hopefully, our ally will help us with that um, and develop us going forward a little bit because we need provinces again. You know, this war that we took on, defending every single one of our allies, has really, really hurt us in a big, big way. Um, particularly against North Lode, who are more than happy to come and take our settlements um, and <laughs> beat us up basically. So we need to get rid of that issue and start developing our own territories again. They just doubled their army size uh, from 6 to 11 down there. Uh, that's not quite so ideal with that general. But it does allow us to build a second army in Scone. Uh, Dunfother is the building that we could upgrade. Food shortage grips the kingdom, that's not ideal. So we just lost all our food there. Um, so we do have stuff that we can do here. Uh, we can build a blacksmith. The only one we can actually afford right now is in fact none of them. So we've got all these buildings. Um, but what I'm going to do is we're going to go down to Scone and we're going to raise forces here starting trade, church, govern province, govern province, commanded army. So we're going to take the easy gamble on male Brigitte. And we're going to put him in. We're going to give him some skirmishers. Um, and hope that he develops them. And one thing I've been forgetting to do is really look at our family tree and look at developing our guys because we don't want this loyalty getting too low on any of them and um, although I'm not actually sure how we're going to do that so we do have an heir is this our heir nope he is a different faction uh, we do have an heir here but he's six years old you know it's not the most ideal thing in the world in all honesty so can we maybe look to adopt here um options have we got any options for them in fact no because we can't afford to do any of that and look after our king so we're going to try and take edinburgh and we're going to manually fight i'm hoping our ally joins us although i'm not anticipating that they will don't know how well that works on this game doesn't look like we're getting our ally, ally to join us. Um, Army-wise, we're in actually pretty good shape against them. So, 
You know, they've got three sets of spearmen and axemen and skirmisher, two sets of skirmishers. So what I'm going to do is the armies that aren't full, I'm going to try and hold back because we want them to start developing and try and look after them a little bit better than what we have previously. Um, that would be quite helpful, I think. Uh, and this would get us one out of five for winning siege battles as well, if we can win it and take Edinburgh for ourselves. So this is the Battle of Edinburgh in 18, oh, sorry, 880 AD. Uh, so, Levy Spearman. Uh, excellent spotting, great against cavalry, good armour, damage and whatnot. So, start battle, I guess. Um, do we go in the rain? Do you know what? I'm actually quite happy to go in the rain because. That means that fire is not going to be too much of an issue. So let's just start the battle. Right, your horseman, right, give me another set of full spearmen. So, basically I want my full units on these towers because that's where our battle is going to win. And from there, hopefully we can do okay. Archers, please. Um, come and deal with these guys. You can stay back. I'm not touching you at all. I'm not going to touch you at all. Um, you and you are my. Um, in fact, the Black Blades I'm not going to touch because they're actually quite good units. Levy Spearman, I will. Um, Black Blades I'm not touching. Axeman, I will as well. Even we'll do that. Archers, actually, can you reach these spearmen? Because that'd be ideal, actually. Help an axeman. So I want you to go for these guys. And spearmen, again, go for these guys, please. Um, I mean, I'm not the best at these kind of battles, so you'll find that out. I've said that countless times that I'm not very good at these types of battles. Uh, and our archers are doing a decent job against these guys, so. I mean, ideally we get in here and we can get our general in because our general is actually pretty good. Um, so we've got the walls just now. Is that gate open? Yes, it is actually. No, it's not. We've got anyone else in here that I don't mind risking. Levy Spearman we can send in as well. Um, so I'm trying to just send in the units that I don't mind getting damaged just now. Uh, 
try and get this together. Come on, you go in there. Just trying to take this gatehouse just now to try and rebuild. Come on. Give me it, give me it, give me it. So we've captured the gate, um, that gives us a bit of help, come on, come in, and we've protected the units that we want to protect, um, in fact actually let's just go with all of yous, you're just going to go straight up to this victory point I think. Where we're going to face the remains of their troops. Um, and imagine I'm going to do the same with you. I'm just going to bring you this side though. Um, can I get loose formation maybe? There we go. That's, you got a job. Formations loose, please. Um, apparently not. Hopefully, we can capture that quite quickly. Same with this tower. Just going to go around all these towers and just try and capture as many as we can. Because the last thing I want to do is get to there and we lose. Um, I mean, they've got. 120 left so it shouldn't take too much damage left within them to our uh, 409 left which actually isn't that much in fact actually I'm just going to bring you right in to here because that's where you're not going to get attacked and I kind of want in a general to stay alive uh, so let's just get you across here Capturing this point here because that's how it's going to work. Basically, I um, think that's the basic point because we're not going to get the benefit of the towers ourselves. So we just keep our general nice and safe rather than wasting time on him. And we'll fast forward because I think we've got this battle won now. We actually might win a battle on this, this series. So. Um, have we got an enemy across here? Yes, we do. So we're going to go straight into their spearmen. And we're sending levy archers in first. Because, you know, logic and whatnot. Uh, although that's not our issue. Uh, we've got it fast forwarded because we're trying to just get there as quickly as we can. We are taking casualties though because we're in this whole area of getting caught with everything in fact as a general in range no he's not that's good news then in fact the archers are going to rally before they get there why are you not attacking this guy come on in fact let's just do control a take the horses out in fact 
actually yeah, that's not going to make a difference really is it yeah so are you melee melee yeah oh just let's keep going uh, our general's coming in though I've not deselected our general because um, a sausage that way but that's fine so in we go general you come here nope kind of want you to go there in general around here because we want to get him in behind these spearmen and everyone else in uh, we lost them um, that's not good right general out Get your backside back here, because um, I need to work out plan B here. Uh, your black blades, you're good enough. Right, use here, because I don't want use in this circle of range. Like, your black blades, you should be pretty decent against spearmen. Um, The problem we had was all these towers absolutely mauling us and we lost so many units getting to there that by the time we actually got there it was gone so I'm going to bring the melee cavalry around as well to here and you down to here don't want to risk anyone else though so you can I go to loose spacing with you Nope, apparently not. So, where are you now? Right, this isn't ideal. So, we've got to take every gate down, I think, if we're going to have a chance of doing this. I mean, that's not ideal. Um. I really didn't do this very well at all. Um, come on. They've just got so many defense points. It's unreal. Um, Hopefully we've got a decent capture rate on these guys. And we can just capture each and every point. Take our time. Uh, I mean, they're pretty much going to go. So we'll bring you back down to here with the general. Crow. What are you about? Right here. Um, and with you two, I'm going to come in here. We're going to take this one now. Be a bit more clever about this. See if we can get this to work. And hopefully we can. You know, but I've only got this one unit of levy spear infantry left. Unfortunately, we've got so many cavalry left that it's an issue um, because we can't get to them. Uh, where's our black watch? Um, kind of want to. Um, does that. Okay, that prevents us really doing anything, doesn't it? It's not ideal. Can we go loose formation? Lift spacing, please, because that's going to help. Um, and I want you to just come and at range mess these guys up because otherwise we're going to have an issue. Now 
number wise they're actually even with us now when we had such a huge advantage and it's just because of these towers um, it's just so unfortunate because ideally you take over them and they fight on your team Um, so I'm going to start moving you across to here and then I'll leave you here um, so where's the point where they're getting attacked from now because they're getting attacked from a tower and I'm not sure where this tower is because this one should be out of range until uh, they get to there, but it, they were still getting hit. Um, where's our unit of archers there coming in quite nicely? Uh, who's wavering? And I want you to come round here, like so general around here like so even just now but they have a big number advantage of course so hopefully this cavalry gets here quite quickly because if they get here if they break before the cavalry gets there then that's game really yeah it says they're winning and um, but we just did take quite a lot of them off so We got it. Wasn't pretty, but we got it. <laughs> really wasn't pretty, that. <sighs> no, we've lost a lot of units there that we really shouldn't have lost. Um, because I wasn't clever enough to just go and be like, right, we'll get this tower, we'll get this tower, we'll get this tower, one at a time. <sighs> and that's going to pretty much end this episode as well, guys. Uh, I mean, we're going to take the settlement, but that battle went on a lot longer than it should have, 22 minutes, which is kind of in my record time allotment that I'm trying to do. Oh, we'll do that, and then we will occupy. Uh, what's the damage? We can't even recover this, really, but our... I struggle to see us recovering this at all. Um, assign a governor, please. Uh, so, 20% to church, 20% to market. So, what have we got here? We've got church. So, assign governor, 20% to church. And that's going to end. Why didn't I get that? Okay, don't know why it's not giving me that. Anyway, guys, I'm going to. Oh, we are currently not researching any technology. I'm meaning, I'm guessing, means we get one. We do indeed. We've got to research. It's going to take four turns, or we can go for. So we can go for the wolf hounds, or we can go for plus melee skill for spiel infantry, all units. Actually, let's go for that first, because that looks quite handy. Anyway, guys. That's going to end this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed um, that battle. If you did, hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll hopefully catch you all next time.